Yeah, he's going to tell us, he's going to help push you the first time. And then he's going to start controlling the things. This song, yeah, is going to make it very nice for you. This song, yeah. Do you have the one you talked about? Yeah, the one you talked about. Have you, have you asked Prince if you're doing something? Prince. Guys, today's video was supposed to be about Nengi and her flirting with Prince and Ozo. But it looks like it didn't work out that way. I'm just wondering when it's going to happen because the advice came in yesterday thinking that it was going to take place, like, you know, actions to begin to happen today. But it looks like it didn't work out today. Seeing that Nengi stuck with Ozo from morning till night today, like, mon literally, morning, afternoon, and night, they were together. But this is Ozo, like, it was close, marking Nengi back and forth, like, in the morning, oh, are you washing plates? Oh, are you awake now? Oh, are you taking your bath? Everywhere he sees Nengi, he comes, gives her a peck, holds her by the waist, holds her in her hand, or shouts something until night. Then this night, they were having like long conversations, gisting, laughing, holding hands, putting hand here, putting hand there. And like, Nengi did not talk to Prince today. I said, ah, 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 ah. This is what I wanted to see. And I talked to Prince. I was just waiting for that particular time when she would just, you know, maybe hold Prince's hand and just walk past. You know, the advice now. Ah, no, 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 no. I forgot. Nengi is supposed to be a good girl. She's not supposed to take that advice. Anyways, guys, let me talk about what happened today. Besides that, Kid Wire, I don't know what is going on with him. He went to advise Ozo again this night to go and cuddle Dorothy. Help me, help, just help me, just help me see, just help me see Kid Wire. Why is he doing like this? People were saying this thing on my comment section in my last video, but it's like I'm, I'm beginning to agree with you. I think Kid Wire has his personal interest on Nengi. That is why he's doing all these things he's doing. So this is how, how he played out here. He was, they were talking about how cold the whole house is, is, is late, they want to go and sleep. So Kid was not like, oh, everything is good, everything is good. Also now said, Ta, it's because you have Erica that will cuddle you in your bed, now that's why. He now said, ah, ah. What of you? You have Dorothy now. Go and cuddle her. He said, no, that him and Dorothy care. They don't cuddle her. As a matter of fact, that they even have a bridge that Dorothy puts in that throw pillow in the middle and they have a bridge. You can't cuddle. He said, no, just shift, you know, just cuddle. Even if people are not going to hold hands, hold hands, just go close to her so that you just get the warmth. I say, ah, ah, kiddy. Kid wire, what is going on with you? Is everything supposed to be about flirting with you? But also, of course, you not take the advice because Dorothy said for none of will make it work. Let's move on from that. We now saw when everybody was having conversations in the garden, we saw Prince and Tolani Bad. Guys, remember that Tolani Bad said Prince should work for her. So I was looking forward to that work that Prince was going to work for her. I thought that maybe Prince would be all over her today. Maybe they would do breakfast together, do lunch together, sit together, play games, talk, have conversations, and even maybe at night. But guys, I didn't see any of that today. Ah, everybody was still doing their normal things, living their normal life. The same way that he has been behaving with her. That he was, oh, tea baby, how far? That's what I saw today. It even looked like it was Solani but that was putting in a lot of efforts to just show that they have something like friendship going on with them. Because today when they were going to go for the arena games here, yeah, Tolani Bad just came and held Prince from the back. Prince was putting his both hands in his pocket. So she just came, held Prince from the back. Normal human being, even if the person is just your friend, especially because we're not expecting it. You're supposed to either pull out your hand, hold the person's hand, or just hold the person from behind or something. Prince just turned and he saw she was the one. He just kept moving. She just held him, held him until she got tired and left him. Everybody was going to see it. Next thing I saw, Tolani Bad found her way to come and sit where Prince was. It's not the other way around. It's not Prince that went to look for Tolani Bad to sit down where Tolani Bad was. As they were seated there, Tolani Bad again has held Prince's hand, put her hand inside his hand, rested on his shoulder. Prince was not reciprocating anything. He was just facing front as if nothing was going on. I don't know what is bothering Prince. I just feel so bad for him. I feel like, guys, I don't even want to talk about Prince. I, I don't want to put everything on Nengi's head, but in his diary session, he was talking about how worried he is about the whole eviction. He doesn't even know if he's going to go home. So I feel like that's also bothering him. But Prince has just been moody today. He has not been insane. He has not really been gisting and laughing and being the, you know, 
the vibe you know film prince has some kind of vibe but i have not seen that lately then from there oh guys i want to talk about something i hope nobody comes for me in this statement i want to make remember that tolani bash said she doesn't want to be the second option yeah but now this night after arena games a lot of people went inside changed some people wore gowns some people put their hair wore bomb shorts different things that was after learning badge that said she doesn't want to be second option of course we know that nengi is the first option so we're not even talking about watoni and the other girls that prince likes in the house Nengi is the first option, and Tony Bai said she doesn't want to be the second option. Guys, did you see what Nengi was wearing today? As in, after the arena, what she changed into this very fine play suit with hoodie. Then Tony Bad went to wear one kind of singlet thing and use whether his wrapper or be the cloth to cover herself like one kind of thing. I'm like, ah, uh ah, -uh, sister, you that you are trying to get boy to like you. It's all of you to at least the physical attribute is also important. Publish yourself well. Nobody should come and tell me that thing is the heart, is the conversation. No, no, no. Before the heart and the conversation, please first be attractive, okay? But no, totally bad word this thing. And then see what Nengi is wearing. Who is going to be the first option, my dear brothers and sisters? Let me just leave that for you to answer. Later, Sha, Erica and Tolani Bad were having a conversation. And Erica was Sha asking Tolani Bad that um, she feels like everything is just getting so fast with she and Kid Wire. Now, what does Tolani Bad think about it? That does she feel like she's getting too fast and too close to Kid Wire? Tolani Bad now said, well, that anything that makes her happy, she should do, but she just should know that Tileko and Sha hot with everything. Eric can answer that she, as for Lacon, she has settled it, that she has told him that she cannot just be displeasing herself and walking on eggshells because he is not going to be happy. That he was even making statements like he would have probably come earlier to say anything. She now said, well, that kid wire was there, kid wire was not there. That she doesn't think she was going to date um, Lacon because she's not physically attracted to him. So Erica Sha now told her that, but that Tolani Shusha advised her about this whole she and kid wire thing. Tolani now said, What I'm going to advise you to do is to put one leg in and put one leg out. Do not invest too much of your emotions in it. It makes you happy. Just feel free. Do whatever it is you are doing. I believe that the audience too will be relate, they can relate with you because they also probably would have found themselves in this kind of your situation so just be happy do whatever you want to do just do not invest too much emotions in it because i'm not going to come and tell you sorry i know that in this house anything can happen today now kidwa is with you he's kissing he's doing this there's a possibility that he might do it with somebody else ah erica was not like that is really going to hurt her and what she's going to do is that she's going to definitely show her anger she's not going to pretend like oh we're cool we're not cool ah, ah no 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 if she's angry about it she's going to be angry about it and everybody's going to be aware and that's how she's going to handle it then totally bad too was not telling erica her, oh no that that's how prince came to that she doesn't really trust anybody in this house that that's how prince came to i was telling her that oh it is she that he wants that he started of all the whole triangles going on with him nengi and the rest of the people that he's tired he's working him out that now he has come to tell her that he was even begging her oh i'm sorry because of the whole spaghetti thing i said it in my last video that he was now saying i'm sorry it is you i want to be with i want to be with one person and it's you i want to be with guys that was not what i said in my video that was not what prince told her prince was not even apologizing for anything as a matter of fact prince was just telling her that this is what it is this is what it is i saw that i put myself in this situation and i'm taking myself out of it prince expressly said it that i just want us to be friends because this is how i do my own process of getting to date somebody first i be i be friends with you we have conversations if i like you then we're going to take it a step further he didn't even tell this to her directly he was saying that that was what he was doing with nengi and any other person that he has been close with he didn't tell tolani that i want to be with you i don't know why tolani Baj is interpreting it this way but i just hope she's going to be fine i hope she's okay because sometimes what we imagine and think we just overcloud us and we just feel like oh the guy really wants us badly i just hope that prince actually like Tolani Badge like he claims. Guys, do you see ship sailing by, um, between Tolani Badge and Prince? Let me know what your thoughts are. Then Neo and Kaisha had one kind of issue today, Sha. It's not something really serious, but Kaisha was Sha upset. He took her fish and that is because he feels like um, it was Kaisha that took his own fish that was missing. But Kaisha was so upset, he had to go and look for her to beg her, pleaded with her. Begged that, begged that. She now said, okay, that she forgave me, but he still did not agree. The Sha Sha somehow settled everything. So, guys, that was what happened today. The ozone ship has sailed, like, it's sailing so much, like, ah, these people, I don't even know what's going on. 
but there are moves like they're not in anybody's level anymore because if you see the love today eh, like guys let's just forget it there was a lot of feeding and feed me i feed you back conversations touching and um, putting hand on the lap kind of thing you know so yeah their ship have sailed but let's talk about dorothy and also now so they went inside dorothy was the one who first went inside and she wanted to go and sleep then also took out time just with his friends for a bit before he now went inside to join dorothy i did not understand why dorothy just shouted one kind of big shout like i'm still trying to understand why she did that so as also came into the room normally it wasn't like oh dora dora she just said what ah, ah. guys were you scared because i was scared when she said that what ah, ah. also it wasn't like ah, ah is there any problem do we have any problem she said yes we have a problem ah, ah. also said okay i'm coming so he was just downstairs packing his things folding his things changing and then he got back upstairs when he got back upstairs they did not now talk about the whole thing again next in the talking about how she feels like nengi is feeling some type of way because of her that today at the when they were doing their whole sports game that she noticed that nengi was uncomfortable because she was sitting just opposite um, also, that's Dorothy now was sitting just opposite Ozo, and she saw how restless Nengi was. Nengi will come sit next to Ozo, Nengi will come again, walk past, and all those kind of things. That ah, that she she doesn't care oh, that as far as Ozo is happy. Also, it's not like, yeah, that is happy. She now said, okay, oh, since you say you are happy, don't come and shalaye for me next time because me, I'm not even going to ask you anything. Even if I notice, I'm not going to ask you anything. Also, said he is fine. So, guys. They shared this there, talked about their whole, oh, this person said this, this person said that. So I feel like everybody should just try and just live peaceably with everybody. You get me? So yeah, guys, that's about it. Subscribe if you're yet to subscribe. If you watch this video up until this point, please give me a thumbs up. And I'm going to see you on my next one. Bye.